Welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Premier League Zone. My name is Anthony Adjulu and this is your number one family radio station, Inspiration FM. Yes, it's a Tuesday and you know what we do on the Tuesday. It's the day for our team of the week. Um, yes, like I always say, we go back to the previous weekend. We look across the ground to all the best players in all the different positions. We match them up together to form our team of the week. We also have our coach of the week, our clan of the week, and today we are voting for our player of the week. There were several, several individual performances that caught the eye over the weekend, and that's what you guys are voting for. Who do you think was the best player this past weekend? No comment telling us he's had a fantastic season, so you're voting for him now. This past weekend, who caught your eye? Some of the options for me that caught my eye this weekend, Pascal Gross was impressive. Um, Dennis Undav, um, not irregular starter forms. Um, Callum Wilson scored two goals for Newcastle. And probably the best defensive performance this weekend was from Victor Lindelof. I thought it was excellent this past weekend for Manchester United again. I'm not alone. Uh, feeling good. Glad to be here once again. Are you sure? Yes. All right. <laughs> Glad to be here once again, guys. <laughs> Mr. Kashi, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Um, back to doing what I love to do best. Okay. <laughs> 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 anyway, let's just let's just get into it. Let's just go to uh, the match we saw last night. Um, yeah, let me come to you for that one. Actually, relegation six points are. Um, lead up to the billing at, at the end of the day it was two two mm-hmm. two teams who were desperate not to lose. Um, at the end of the day, they have to share the spoils. They have to share the spoils. I mean, but you just feel like you know, it, it, I don't know, time is ticking <laughs> for both sides. Time is ticking, yep. Few matches left to the end of the season, and you know, both teams trying to ensure that they maintain their stay in the top flight of English football. Um, let's start at home, you know, they, they had their own court advantage, and at some point had to come back from after, I mean, after going one goal down, Jamie Vardy again, you know, someone who hasn't had the best season, yep. you know, at least getting back to back goals in you know, in, in matches and it was just beautiful it was beautiful to watch uh but until you know alex wait, wait, what, what, wait, wait, what is beauty was it the, is it the game you know what i'm talking about is it like beauty, 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 no 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 you <laughs> <we're> asked <laughs> me a question you asked me a question see jimmy vardy score was and he scored a beautiful goal so like, hey uh then again but until it will be pulled equalizer you know both teams just above the relegation zone on um points dif- i mean on goal difference things would need to change drastically but then again it was a good game of football, but both sides need to ensure that the tides start turning in their favour if they're going to maintain their stay in the Premier League. I asked for this question yesterday, so let me ask you. Who stays up? Both of them, neither of them, one of them. If one of them, who? One of them, and I would go with Leicester. Leicester stays up. Leicester stays up. So, Everton goes down. All right. There's a first time for everything. Well, you know, I hope not. I hope not. They've been in the Premier League for as long Forever. as I remember, mm-hmm. so I hope they don't go there. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's go to today's action, buddy. It's us now taking on Chelsea's at the Emirates. Arsenal have not had the best of times lately, but if Arsenal are struggling, Chelsea are way worse. They've had it rough under Frank Lampard. Five straight defeats. Um, surely, it's looking like an Arsenal bounce back later tonight. Oh, yes, it is. And uh, possibly more goals for Chelsea as well. Mm. Because Chelsea, as much as they try as much as possible to want to put something together, it's not just working at the moment. It seems whatever problem they're going through right now, they said... Whatever you do, mm. you will not just work. <laughs> and for us now, yes, they've had a bad run mm. of results in the last uh, few match days and they would want to bounce back, looking at the fact that City have gone up the table as well. As much as they can keep piling the pressure, maybe City might just falter at some point, yep. but us now need to win at the Emirates. Back to back draws and a loss, just not good for the Gunners at this point mm. in time. Um, Looking forward to them, you know, improving on the performance. If there's any ch- uh, chance for them to beat Chelsea, it's now. Uh, the edge, the head-to-head, uh, three wins and two wins for Chelsea in the last five match days. So, um, I do feel Arsenal will do enough to get all three points today. So, Arsenal to win today? Yes, they should win. All right, we'll see what happens. That match comes about 8 p.m. Nigerian time, so look out for that one. I will definitely be watching it. Looks like um, it's going to be a very good match. The London Derby at the end of the day. All right, so we're done with all our uh, reviews and our previews. Let's just go into the real business of today, which is our team of the week. Um, like I said, we are voting for the player of the week today. The options are Pascal Gross, Dennis Undav, um, Jefferson Lerma, Danny Welbeck, um, Carlo Wilson, and Victor Lindelof. These are the guys we are voting for today. But 
the real team itself. Um, in goal, I've gone for Jason Steele of Brighton. There were too many goals conceded this week. We have much. Yeah, but it's the few times we were called up. I saw that game. What was the game? Just wait. I was live on air when that game was going on. Sorry, sorry. 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 Victor Lindelof actually stood up for me um, for Manchester United in that win over Aston Villa. Um, clearances, aerial balls, he was all over the place winning things for Manchester United. So he's there as well. Um, Shah so Soyuncu also makes it. He scored a goal for Leicester City yesterday. Um, so he makes it into our team of the week. And then Pervis Estupinian uh, for Brighton is that left back as well. I will just tell you now, plenty of Brighton players in this team yeah. of the week. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> in the midfield, I've gone for Pascal Gross. He is in there as well. Um, two goals for Brighton against Wolverham 200. Then his own uh, is in there as well. Um, two goals for Brighton against Wolverham 200. Bruno Fernandes scored the only goal for Manchester United against Aston Villa. And Jefferson Lerma, a brace for Bournemouth against Leeds United. And he's two going forward. Callum Wilson of Newcastle, two goals against Southampton. Danny Welbeck of Brighton, two goals against Wolverham 200. Coach of the week, none other than Roberto De Zerbi. Um, clown of the week. Has to be Spurs. Has to be Spurs, actually. You had drawn level, you know, 3-3. A point at Anfield, always a good thing. And then you threw it away in the last minute. So Spurs, everybody at Spurs, Clowns of the Week. And then Player of the Week, like I said, we are voting for Player of the Week. I'll do a quick recap before I bring the guys in. In goal, Jason Steele, Diego Dalot at right back. Centre-back pairing, Victor Lindelof and Shala Soyuncu. And um, Pervis Estupinian is at left back in the midfield we have pascal gross dennis undav uh bruno fernandez and jefferson lema and the two leading the line callum wilson and daniel Welbeck. coach of the week for beck um callum wilson and victor lindelof you feel there's anybody else who impressed you this past weekend P please feel free to let me know that's what we're voting for for today the uh, player of the week so guys uh but let me start with you uh, you've already, you guys already made your objections no. so is there any need anymore? Yes, there is. Yes. Uh, go ahead, buddy. Let me start with I you. I think in goal, yes, Fulham lost against City, mm. but Bernard Leno was, it was very, very fantastic. Yes, they lost, but it could have been more. It could have been 3-1, 4-1, but it made some they crucial lost. saves to ensure that Fulham were in that game for as long as possible. And yes, uh, still, still didn't do anything. I remember he did he 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 not do anything. Now. I remember he made a save from Daniel Podence. Do you just just one. one. He doesn't. He just one. One. I'm counting <laughs> it now. I'm counting <laughs> it. Daniel Podence. Okay. He made that save from Daniel Podence. Um, um, you see, I haven't, I haven't tried so hard. So <laughs> <laughs> just fine. No, look, there were a lot of goals considered this weekend, so it was hard to pick. Fulham considered only one goal. David Dewey kept no, a clean no, sheet. No, 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 I'm looking at David Dewey. Yeah. He has the highest number of clean sheets in the league at the moment. I'm looking at David yeah. Villa <laughs> had chance upon chance upon chance. Any other objection? Well, well, I have a ready mention. Right, go ahead. Um, the Brighton teenager, Uwen Siso. And so, so you know, playing at uh, wait first, hold no, on. No, I want to agree with you actually. Playing down the left flank, you know, deputizing for a Mutoma who surprisingly was started off the bench. I mean, and he was a thorn in the flesh of rules from that left. He just kept moving the ball. I, I think he had an assist already. Yeah, 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 thank you. He had he had assist. Assist. So I mean I, I saw that game. That boy is someone you need to look okay. out for. In the midfield, Pascal Gross, Dennis Unda, Bruno Fernandez, Jefferson Lerma, all these guys scored. Who are you taking out for Julio and Cicio? I don't mind sacrificing Bruno Fernandez, but I, I think Julio, Julio Fernandez, I am sorry, Julio Cesar had a better game. He had a fantastic game, to be honest, and he's 19. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more, leave a comment, and like. Thank you.